Good morning, everybody. We are on, it feels like day 1000 of this horrible flu. I don't know, day 10. I finally woke up this morning and was like, okay, time to get back to work. I'm feeling partially human now. This has been a rough ride, you guys. I'm still winded. Just getting them something to drink and uh, wiping snotty noses and everything. But I do feel better than I have felt in the last 10, 11 days. So that is a, it feels good to feel a little bit human. Oh Lord, how am I supposed to hold everybody? Um, These kids have not wanted me out of their sight or to move in the last 10, 11 days, which I didn't really have the strength or the energy either anyway, so it didn't really matter. But I woke up this morning and I was like, I feel pretty good this morning. Like this is like the first time, like I've been waking up, I guess where I haven't been eating good, drinking good, <coughs> sick, feeling yucky. And I finally woke up this morning and I was like, I want a cup of coffee. Like I, they, the kids were still sleeping, Sean. So that is a great sign because I've not felt that way in quite a few days. <coughs> yeah, did mama and Cece. Get my high booger <coughs> You guys, this one has been, I'm starting to question if we've ever, what? Yeah. I'm starting to question if we've ever actually had the flu. That's how bad this was. We did go get tested and we all tested positive for flu A, except Chloe, which I find odd because she also had all the symptoms, but she was negative, but she still mm -hmm. had the cough and the fever in the beginning and, you know, but she did eat really good and drink really good the entire time. Now, Colton, totally different story. Like, I was really worried about him. His poor little nose is so raw. I've been using Kleenexes and putting Vaseline on it. You know, it's the constant running over the last 10, 11 days. Mine was so dry and raw too. Enough about the flu. We've had the flu, you guys. Flu A, and it has been <coughs> This was hard. There was a few times I was really, really worried. <coughs> the Pedialyte popsicles is actually what started helping Colton bounce back. Like, we were doing the um, Pedialyte mixed with Gatorade and ice and just trying to get sips in him all day long continually. But Sean went out and got the Pedialyte popsicles. My friend told me about them. She's like, go get some of them. She's like, trust me. Well, Sean went and got them, and he ate an entire popsicle, and he was, like, for the next two, three hours up, like, finally wanting to play after five days, going in his bedroom. You know, he had his birthday party, you guys seen, and the next day, boom. I mean, it was just instant. Mm -hmm. But he didn't even really get to enjoy his toys and still really hasn't yet. He finally, after the Pedialyte popsicle, was like going in his bedroom, digging around in his toys and stuff. You know, Chloe's been playing with them the whole time. She done really well as far as the rest of us. But I got a few pounds to have to get back on this list. Yeah. As of now, we're going to finish waking up. We're going to do breakfast. I'm going to try to get two eggs in this boy this morning and some strawberries and blueberries. Just his basic favorite breakfast that I know he likes. We'll just stick with that this morning. We're going to make chicken and dumplings for dinner. No. No? You don't want chicken? You want chicken for dinner? No. No? Well, what do you want? Do you want some eggs? No. Ah. Do you want sausage? Yeah? Okay, mommy will make you sausage. As much sausage as you want. Yeah, won't. Cut your bread. Yeah? I don't know what it is, you guys. Ever since we got sick, this child has been obsessed with eating bread. But she just like all of a sudden wants bread all the time. So she just had a half a banana. Now she's wanting bread, but I was going to show you guys. But right here is the, pedi Mama. the Pedialyte popsicles. Mama. You eat your bread first and your Nana. I'll get you one after breakfast, okay? But those Pedialyte popsicles, y'all got sick kids. I'm telling you, they're, they're a winner. 
I was also going to show you guys this. Now, my kids will not drink the flavored Pedialyte. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. They will not drink it. It tastes awful. It does taste bad. This is unflavored, really has no taste at all. I've got that much in Colton over the last two, three days, mixed with Gatorade and ice and Chloe too. But if you got kids that hate the flavor of normal Pedialyte, this right here is a lifesaver. So I've been doing half a cup of the Pedialyte, half a cup of Gatorade, and a couple cubes of ice. One's already Mama, gone. And I'm trying to get that down Mama. him, down the hatch by lunchtime. Mama. You need a drink? No. No, what do you want? The hair is wild, honey. <laughs> so Chloe's hair is finally at the stage that mama's been having to put leave-in conditioner in it. I mean, look, it looks, it's up to her shoulders. When it's wet, it's down to the middle of her back. It spiral curls at the back. But if I don't put leave-in conditioner in her hair, you guys, when she wakes up in the morning, I mean, it's like out to here and tangled so bad. And the leave-in conditioner's been helping a little bit. <laughs> But it's still wild. She has got some wild hair going on. I also cannot figure her part out because she's got a cowlick here and a cowlick here. So no matter which way I brush it, it seems to still want to flop back. The center don't work at all because of the two cowlicks on each side. I'm still trying to figure out which way to brush her hair. The only way it really lays right is if I put her part like way over here and it kind of looks silly. Got some wild hair going on, Cece. You enjoying your bread? Y'all, all of a sudden, don't know why, she said banana but for the last six months. And all of a sudden, it's now Atlanta. Now Atlanta. <laughs> well, I don't want it. Set it down on the counter. You want the rest of your banana? Okay. Okay. <laughs> she has been eating bananas like crazy, too, since we all got sick, which is fine. It's got good potassium in it, which she needs. Colton, I think I've got one banana in him in a week, so he's been a little more difficult. She made a mess with the last banana. What? Mm-hmm. I guess it is time to get breakfast going. Want a biscuit mater. You want a tomato biscuit? <laughs> Y'all call me crazy or frantic, and I can't be the only one that does this. We do not get sick often. This one has been warm for the books. So I am Lysol and everything today. Super clean. I steam mopped the floors yesterday and went over them with some Murphy's oil soap. So my floors are good, and I took Lysol wipes to all my doorknobs and all that stuff. I'm going as far as even changing my air filter out. There's been a lot of coughs and sneezes and everything run through that one. I know that might be a little frantic and a little much, but I don't care. If it, if it helps, it helps. It probably won't, but it's gonna make me feel better mentally. So, new air filter going in now. Okay, here we are a few hours later. I have managed to get some more cleaning done that I have wanted to. I scrubbed the toilet, <coughs> the bathroom sink, and the bathtub, or the shower, and the tub. I feel much better, much better after that. You okay? The night he, me and him started running the fever, he threw up quite a few times. Um, first in our bed all over me some did get on the covers i ended up getting him up and bringing him in here in his room because where he was throwing up and he ended up waking up again throwing up so i washed mustered all the energy i had and washed um all the bed sheets the other day and blankets and everything i did get the bathroom scrubbed down i got the laundry room straightened up quite a bit I also still have ahead of me, I've got to reset the kid, the bedrooms, <laughs> the toys, and obviously, as you can see, everywhere. We have been hanging on by a thread, and um, I just haven't worried about it. You need more cough medicine? No. No? But it helps you. Hi, boogers. Mama! What? A pissy. You want the passy out? Okay. Her granny and Paul got her up. Cabbage Patch Baby, and she likes the passy. <laughs> That's for the baby. It is lunchtime, and everybody decided on pizza for lunch, so that is A-OK. -okay. We changed our mind this evening for dinner. We want some red meat in us. We got the chicken. I already got it thawed out, but I stuck it back in the fridge. Chicken and dumplings is going to be tomorrow. Tonight, we are going to make some steak and peppers and onions and garlic just to get all of that in our system too. Probably some macaroni and cheese and baked potatoes. 
But right now, we need to reset your bedroom. Mommy got your bed clean. So now we got to pick the toys up. We got to wipe the toy box down, wipe some of the toys down that was getting played with with snotty little fingers, and vacuum this bedroom. Did you have a good breakfast? Hey! That's when you know he's starting to feel better is when he's eating his... Colton, that's his main meal every day. You guys know that by now, is he eats a big breakfast. And if he nibbles and just nibbles on dinner the rest of the day, I'm okay with that because, you know, his stomach is tiny. This morning, he finally eat two eggs half a piece of sausage, all of his strawberries and blueberries. So I'll take that as a, a mom win. The last week has just been like trying to get him to eat anything. Uh, Where's his eyes and his glasses? I think mama seen his glasses a minute ago. They have been loving this Mr. Potato. This Mr. Potato Hello. Head. Where's his eyes at? This nose. Bubba, we're gonna have to get off the purple Gatorade. Your mouth has been purple mama. for days. We're going to have to try another color. He's really liking his Gatorades, but he likes the purple the best. And his little tongue has been purple. I, when I gave him a bath last night and brushed it and everything, and it come clean for a little bit until he started drinking it again. And here's what we having. What we having for lunch. Actually looks pretty darn good to be a uh, freezer pizza. Uh, it's Connie's. Connie's? Good. Is it good? I like it. She probably ain't hungry. She's been eating like a horse. Look. I got to shampoo my living room carpet. Let me tell y'all what happened. So I was running fever myself of 104, right? I got up in the middle of the night to bring Colton in here to give him some medicine. And I had a cup of Gatorade in my hand. I was still running a fever myself and delirious. And I face planted in the living room and Gatorade shot all the way across my carpet. And I just took a towel and a wet rag and got it up the best I could. <laughs> that is something that's got to happen in the next day or two as well, is shampoo in my living room carpets. So, okay, you guys. Wow. I got to do something with myself. I got to straighten my hair at some point today. It, it might not even happen. I don't know. I'm still clawing my way back from the pits. But anyways, Chloe is now taking a nap. Um, I got the steaks laid out. And I, Colton's in there with Sean right now, so I'm going to take the time to do the toy box and this little push cart and all these toys that they have been playing with while it's not been pouring. It, you know how they do. So let's get that done. <laughs> sheets, toys and toy box sanitized, things that organized a little bit, chairs done. I found Chloe's tablet that has been missing all week. Y'all, all I can say for lack of a better word is this flu whooped me. Like the only thing I've really cooked since we got sick, I think I made some chicken, homemade chicken soup one day and I was so fog brained, I didn't even make it right. I don't know what I was thinking. It's been rough, but I lost my voice completely. So we're gonna pump some red meat into our system. My mama wanted herbs with a lot of onions, so I'm frying herbs with the onions. Gonna make some mac and cheese. Got some potatoes thrown in the oven. But ain't no joke, I ain't been that sick in probably 15 years plus. It really knocked, my, knocked me off my feet, y'all can tell. I still don't sound right. My nose is still plugged up. Still having a little issue with my voice. Tell him, ah. is he? Ah. <laughs> Are you telling him? <laughs> she told you, bud. <laughs> there it is, that's all. What you getting tonight? Yeah, I got 
Dzielny biś. Dzielny biś. That was literally the best steak of my life. Probably because I haven't been able to taste or smell for a week because my nose was clogged up. I mean, I could taste faintly, but not like, you know, when everything clears up. The best steak I've ever had in my life. I think just simply because I haven't been able to taste food. It's because I made it. Oh, you're right. Let me tell you something. There is some rewards after being sick, and that is one of them. When the flavor of food kicks back in. I have this disaster. Oh my lord. This is when Sean gets in the kitchen. All done? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's get this kitchen cleaned up. Are you cleaning the kitchen tonight? No, I was just cleaning that little mess right there. <laughs> Dinosaur track? I think Daddy's got to put the batteries in it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Pick it up. You guys, I swear she has baby dolls like four or five around here. She's got a little cat and a little bed. It's, it's got a little mermaid tail that goes on it and things, but. She, I guess, likes to play with Bubba's big brother's toys. I love you. Mommy can't wait till everybody's 100%. Is that Sissy? And rosy red cheeks. We, guys, the nose running, oh, it's just like it won't end. It's just constant. I just flushed their nose with some old baby, uh, I don't know what it is, saline mist spray? I don't know. Pretty much, we've been through 20 boxes of Kleenexes. Wiping, putting lotion on two or three times a day. Even putting Neosporin on before bed on all of our noses because they're all so raw. Dad. Yeah, I know. I'll be glad just to be 100%. I feel, like I said, so much better, but that it's still that lingering stuff like the uh, nose running here and there, the occasional sneeze that has blowed my ear holes out I don't know how many times. Our noses has just had to lick, ain't they? Yeah, our noses just had the lick, huh? Mama? What, honey? The hair. I just took your hair bow out. Is that Coca Melon and JJ? Yeah, Mommy don't know all their names. I just actually really know JJ. I'm proud of myself today. I got a lot done. Just got my toilet and my bathroom sink and my shower scrubbed down, disinfected, and the kitchen. Got that done and good. And got all the toys wiped down and everything and vacuumed in the bedroom in here. I still gotta do my bedroom tomorrow. I was gonna do that today. I did not get to it and that is perfectly okay. Vacuum the living room, so you know, little by little, getting things done. Can't do it all in one day. These two are not top notch, and a lot of the times right now, they just want me sitting down, holding them, and or laying right here, and uh, that's what I do. It makes them feel better. We do have Christmas shirts coming on the website. They are way late. <laughs> Because of this, obviously, we're going to drop them right after Thanksgiving. We do have a couple up already, but uh, we we're going to drop them right after Thanksgiving, and then boom. And if you guys do decide to order them, try to have them, you okay? Try to have those in by December the 12th to make sure you get it for Christmas, by Christmas. Man, what would we do for some sunshine right now? Just a good warm day of sunshine. We love y'all. Stay positive, stay country, and stay true to your roots.